welcome back to this war of mine. So once again, we're starting back on day 12. We have been raided, although they did not take anything. They did they did hurt Amelia a little bit, but other than that, we're okay. Paffle's got some stuff, so let's take a look at what's going on. Uh, let's see. Um, Amelia needs to be bandaged, of course. I got two bandages, so that's not too big of an issue. I have one raw food currently. I have two more in a trap down here. Two people are hungry. Yeah. Pavel and Katya are hungry, and Amelia and Bruno are very hungry, so they really need to eat. So we're going to have three raw foods in total when we're done with this. I, sh I should probably use one of the raw foods to seed the trap, actually. So I'm probably just going to cook the other two. Alright, who needs to sleep? Who needs to do what? Well, let's put the piece of food in here first. Alright, tired. Amelia, bandaged. She needs to eat. She'll do that soon. In the meantime, go sleep, I suppose. Bruno's gonna have to cook. Pavel, you can go sleep. Katya. Actually, no, let's, yeah, let's get cooking on the food. Katya, why don't you go listen to the radio, see if we can figure out anything interesting on airwaves. We've got two moonshines, too, which, if a trader comes by, will be very helpful, because they're worth a lot. Alright, do I have enough water? Yes, I do have enough water. Just enough to make two. Need to make a little bit more fuel. Typical weather. Okay, so armed bands of horrible people are roaming about, and coffee is still worth a shit ton. Oh yes, and by the way, uh... Yeah, let me pause the game for a second. This does actually pause it, right? Yeah, okay. Just wanted to check, because I could see the kind of icons and stuff are still moving in the background. Anyway, I was wondering how people smoked cigarettes and drank coffee, right? Because it says... Is it in the bio? Yeah, like, smoker. Bruno's a smoker. I think Katya is... likes to drink coffee? Yeah, coffee drinker. So obviously that's parts of their psychology. And you can find various forms of cigarettes of, you know, kind of different qualities and you can find coffee beans and whatnot. So I was thinking, okay, obviously you can drink coffee and it helps them be more comfortable and more happy and so on. But how do you actually do that? Because I couldn't find a way to drink coffee or smoke cigarettes or do anything like that. And it seems that you actually don't do it yourself. It seems that they do it automatically. So I've been just missing it because I just haven't been looking at what everybody's doing. But, oh, and look, Bruno actually says a smoke calms me down. And, in fact, he might be going to smoke right now. Let's see if he does. So, yeah, if they want to do something and it's available, they will just do it. I think, yeah, he's doing it right now. <laughs> we need to find food, he says, as he smokes our cigarette that we could use to trade for food. You stupid son of a... Anyway, I don't know if it actually uses up the item or, or what. But, anyway... Um, let's see. Alright, you've had a smoke. Good for you. Please go cook. Need food. Should probably make something, but I'm not sure what. Well, let's just see what we can make. So, we need food. We Well, we need everything, but our most pressing need is food. A gun would be good. Boarding up stuff would be good. A lot of things would be good, but... Good things and protecting yourself don't matter if you're dead, because if you're dead, there's nobody to protect. So, food is the highest priority. And there's a, the thing is, there's a lot of different pathways to food, though. There's a lot of different pathways. So you can make a garden. Which takes a shit ton. And will eventually give you I don't know how much food. You can make traps, those are relatively cheap, although I'm missing these parts. 
So you can focus on kind of getting food, like trapping food or collecting food directly. Or you can focus on making valuable stuff to trade for food. So for example, I could make, well, if I had the parts, <laughs> I could make a moonshine still and distill moonshine and, you, you know, sell that to the trader. It's a very valuable commodity. So I can either focus on food directly or kind of indirectly or, yeah, there's a bunch of different ways. At the moment, though, none of these are relevant because I can't do any of them, any of them at all. I'm missing these fucking parts, so I need to focus on just getting stuff and... If my memory's not failing me, I'm pretty sure most places I've already been, that I've explored pretty thoroughly, I'm pretty sure most of the parts that are available are components and wood, and not a lot of parts. So I think I'm gonna have to go somewhere new if I want to get a bunch of parts. Which means, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to either steal, or I'm gonna have to go to Sniper Alley, or Sniper Junction, whatever it's called. I really don't want to go there, but I also really don't want to steal. So, yeah. Stealing endangers other people's lives, as well as mine, I suppose, if the people I'm stealing from catch me and are willing to, you know, to fight for it. So that endangers my life and others, since I might be stealing food that they need to survive, or medicine or something. And going to Sniper Junction just endangers my life. Neither are very good options, although it seems like Sniper Junction is the least... least worstest option. So I might go with that. Let's see what we can make over here. Oh, food time! Alright, uh, I can make another knife. I really don't want to use up weapon parts, though. Because I want to save it for... making a pistol and a shotgun. Mm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to make a pistol first, probably, because shotgun requires more parts. I've actually got two broken shotguns. Lockpicks, I don't really need... Well, actually, I suppose I would I would want those if I was going to steal from people, because I can use that to silently open doors, which would be very helpful. There is a good place I can go to steal food. Actually, that is the school, I think. I think it's the abandoned school. That's the place with a bunch of homeless people in the bottom of it. Because I remember there was a locked gate that I can construct a saw to get through. That had a garden behind it. And of course, it's somebody else's garden, it's not just a wild garden. Is there even such a thing as a wild garden? I'm pretty sure the definition of a garden is that it's been made by... Anyway, yeah, I could steal that. I mean, I kind of have to decide right now, you know, am I going to be going to Sniper Junction, or am I going to be stealing stuff? It's kind of one or the other. We just, we can't produce enough food here. And I can't make anything to produce more food yet. I don't have enough parts. It's one or the other. I got to do something. If I do nothing, we're just going to starve. Well, technically, I suppose not everybody would necessarily starve. Because at some point, enough people would die that the traps I have set out would feed everybody, but let's not think about that. Do I make a saw blade for a thing that may or may not happen? I may or may not find a place that needs a saw blade? Nah, I'm gonna save my stuff. When are you guys done sleeping? Oh yeah, I think somebody told me that if somebody is slightly wounded, they can just sleep it off. So I don't think I actually needed to bandage her. Oh, looks like she's... Oh, they're both done. Perfect. No, don't go to sleep! What are you doing? Wait, is she actually willing to go to sleep? Because I thought they won't if they're not tired. Oh. Maybe they changed that. There, there was a patch recently. You go ahead and eat. Bruno, are you the other one that's very hungry? You are. Don't smoke. Go eat. Go up here. Katya, go to sleep. They're going to get to the food at the same time. Who's going to eat first? Bruno? Both? 
I think they're both eating. They're inside of each other. Oh no. Amelia ate. Bruno go to sleep. Oh, Bruno's sad. <clears throat> Guess I should just end the day. There's nothing else to really do. Yep. Okay, so I'm pretty sure tomorrow everybody is going to be very hungry, because everybody is currently hungry. So, oh, holy shit, I just looked at the map and realized there's a billion new places. Actually, there's three new places. Okay, that's excellent, thank god. Maybe I don't have to go get sniped in the head or steal from people. Let's take a look. Hotel? Or, oh no, this is new too, so that's, uh, <clears throat> four new places. A church. Known for its charitable priest, Olek. Alas, the church has recently been devastated and Olek's fate is unknown. We can expect piles of rubble, so a shovel might come in handy. A group of armed men are said to occupy the Vestry building now. Going there might be dangerous. Lots of food, lots of meds. Huge amounts of weapons, oh my god. Impossible trade. Hmm. It says, are said to a group of armed men are said to occupy the Vestry building. I'm not sure what a, what a Vestry or what the Vestry is, but it doesn't say are said to occupy the church, so I'm assuming the Vestry is a part of the church? In other words, the armed men don't occupy the entire church, just a place of it? So maybe it's not horribly unsafe? Hotel? Bogoran Travel Agency used to own this small yet luxurious hotel. The owners fled the city just before the siege, along with the foreign journalists who had been staying there. Someone moved in there recently and spread the news that he was willing to barter. Maybe he has something useful to us. Oh, yeah! Somebody in the comments was also suggesting that perhaps some of the people um, that you can encounter when you visit places will actually trade with you. Which, I'm pretty sure of the places I could have visited before, I don't think that's true. I'm pretty sure I would just be stealing from them. I don't think they were willing to trade, but um, yeah, it seems that there are people that are willing to trade. Maybe he has something useful to us. It says caution advised. Why? Caution advised. The person sounds friendly. Then again, now that I think about it, the person put out the news that he was willing to barter. Do you know who else would want to put out the news that they're willing to barter? People with weapons that want people to bring supplies to their doorstep and steal from them. Yeah. Hopefully they're not liars, but uh, that sounds actually... That's probably my safest bet at the moment, because I do have two moonshines. Which I could trade for a lot of stuff. Hospital. It's been shelled several times. There was a fire and numerous bandit raids, and yet it still operates. Some wards still admit patients and save lives, mostly thanks to Dr. Dr. Jeff Jeffamau, a renowned surgeon who remains steadfast and keeps the others in line. Okay, so if somebody's really sick and I don't have medicine, I guess I could go there. There's lots of food there, but... I mean, I would be stealing from a hospital, right? That's not good. Outpost. Those who aim at each other during the day often trade with each other at night. These soldiers have a lot of goods and they're willing to trade. Especially for alcohol or cigarettes, but be careful. You never know what to expect from them. Especially for alcohol or cigarettes. Ooh. But it is... Mm. It specifically says you never know what to expect, and it says danger, as opposed to this person who's willing to trade, which just says caution. Which I think is very different from danger. I really don't want to go to a place where I... 
to a place that's particularly dangerous or particularly likely to encounter armed people without having a weapon. Or, well, without having a gun. Technically, I have a weapon, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go trade. Let's go to the hotel. Okay, I was about to press prepare. No, 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 hold on. Who's doing what? You're slightly wounded, so why don't you go to sleep? Actually, you two are... S both tired. Powerful's always my scavenger. But if you need to sleep, then... Hmm. I don't think I should have this many people sleep. Alright, well, you know, she is bandaged, and technically she's not tired, so... Yeah, she's not gonna sleep. She'll be fine. She can guard. I should probably have more people guard. Especially considering there's gangs of armed people roaming around and I don't even have a single weapon. Uh, again, I don't have a single firearm. I do have weapons. Apparently shovels and crowbars and whatnot do actually count as weapons for guarding, I think. Hmm. Shit, let's just have everybody guard. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> it's kind of an inverse of what I want to do. I'm having the people that are the most tired not sleeping. Alright. Okay, uh, no point in taking a weapon, really. Just one person should be friendly, they just want to trade. And if I take a weapon, that means that the people back home don't have, you know, they're, they're lacking a weapon to guard with. So the only thing I want to take with me is what I want to trade, which is definitely the Moonshine. Anything else? I think that's mostly it, and that should give me a lot. Yeah, okay. Once noble and bright, now a shadow of its former self. Like us. I forgot to check your bio. I wish I could help my friends, they look so hungry. That's what you're doing tonight, my friend. No, well, I guess I can just- whoa. Somebody's here. Let's take a peek. Looks like they're going upstairs? Okay. Well, that's probably the person that wants to trade. But, um... Yeah, it looks like I can do some scavenging while I'm here. I was assuming I wouldn't be able to do any scavenging at all, but never mind. Maybe I should have taken some tools. Hmm. It could be a rat, it could be another person. I really need parts. Weapon parts, nice. I think, what do I need? One more after this to make the pistol, I think? Something like that. Ooh, there's a lot of footsteps around here. Is this somewhere I can hide? Yes, it is. I will be doing that. These footstep thingies move any closer to me. I need to start dumping some stuff. What do I not need? I, don't, I really don't need electric parts or tobacco. Well... How do I make tobacco? Because I could trade it. That's kind of like moonshine, you know? It's one of those things that you really want as a trading item. I think. I don't need books. I close this door behind me, actually. Ooh, fertilizer. I can use that for the traps. Parts. I desperately need these. What do I want to dump? I really just don't seem to need the electric parts at the moment. Right. 
two exits from this place. Let's see if we can get a look at who's in here. Okay, multiple people. Don't appear to have weapons, so... Probably safe. I don't know if I'm technically stealing from them. I guess it isn't stealing, actually, because I think it would have that icon of stealing, if it was. Ooh, more weapon parts. Excellent. Hello down there. See, that's stealing. Yeah, that's what that icon means. <clears throat> More wood than I can handle. Wink, wink. Alright, well, let's go trade with them so I can free up some of my inventory space. Well, actually, I guess I probably won't free it up because I'm going to replace it with food. Oh, shit, I can't go in that way. Let's get a look at who's down here, or what's down here. It might be a rat. Oh, that's a person. Are you friendly? Want to trade? Go to the first floor. Okay. Hello. Wait, go to the first floor. But this is the first floor. This is technically floor zero? I don't know. I think there's naming conventions, differences between different countries. Here we go. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a trustworthy face right there. Right there. Siorba. Looks like he wants to murder me. Okay, do you have food? Yes, you do. You have four. Beautiful. Wow, you want more than two moonshines for four food? Okay. More than that? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on, dude. I'm not giving you the weapon bars. I'm not giving you the fertilizer. Shit. Alright, so that's the exact price for food. I'm getting kind of a sense for how much money each thing is worth. Because it, it looks like it's a bartering system, but it's really not. Everything is worth a certain amount of money. And the basic materials like wood and whatnot are, are I think, worth a cent, basically one unit, the smallest unit. So if you can get something to go from I won't trade to I will trade using the smallest unit of like a piece of wood or something, then I believe you're getting an appropriate deal. Alright, so I need to go s jack some shit. Well, there's no reason to sneak around. Time's a-burning. Books? Yeah, it's worth a decent amount. Alright, that'll probably do. Books plus a couple pieces of wood, pieces of wood plus tobacco will probably do it. Really? You fucking asshole. Now see if I'd send Katya, who's good at bargaining, we'd probably be able to get a bit better deal. Okay, let's try that. I really need to search the rest of this place. Give me your food. Oh wait, I can't give him- oh, I can't give him that stuff. He want he likes wood, but he doesn't like components. For some reason. A 
Maybe two will do. You can't, what are you, what are you doing? You can't go that way, you idiot. Damn it, Pavel. Door's blocked. There we go. I just made it. Alright. Does he actually have anything else I want? I don't really have anything I'm willing to trade, so I suppose it doesn't really matter that much. Nah. Alright. Let's look around for stuff. You gonna check out that noise? Just me. Wait, get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Whoa, I think he's got a gun. He doesn't like me being there for some reason, even though I'm not stealing anything. I don't understand your living arrangement, but I will run away. Do these people know each other, or what? Like, what the hell's going on? There's something to indicate that I should go here, but not up there. But, okay. Need more parts. Did I check this? Ah, wood. Need to get back. Alright, I need to get back very soon. Damn it, I don't need more fucking wood! There's some bars here. Could do some stealing. More weapon parts, excellent. Fertilizer, excellent. Should I dump some wood for tobacco? Mm, I think tobacco and books are both worth, worth a pretty decent... <coughs> Excuse me. They're both worth a pretty decent amount for trading. Yeah, that's fine. I'll give it until 5 o'clock and then I'll go back. Ah. So much wood and so many components, but I've only got two freaking parts. The dawn has caught. It'll be harder. Oh, shit. I didn't realize it was that strict. Once it hits five... Okay. Uh, What does that mean? Is it going to show up wounded? Or dead? There have been some problems, but we hope Pavel will soon be back. Oh, God. So he's not actually here. Alright. Amelia is starting to feel a bit unwell. God damn it! I gave you bandages! Guess we gotta use the... Use the medicine now. Alright. Um, right. So two of them are very tired. Yep. Both of you go to sleep. You are slightly sick. Okay. She might be able to get better just by resting. I'm not sure if that applies to slightly sick, just like it applies to, you know, slightly unwell. I don't know if it's the same thing. But yeah, I won't give her medicine yet. Okay, so... Oh, and the fact that Pavel isn't back means we don't have the food! So that's great. Seems we did catch two pieces of food, though. But yeah, we can't make anything new, because we don't have any of the new materials. Wonderful. So I don't know if Pavel's gonna like... Is Pavel just gonna show up at some random point in the day? Or is he only gonna show up during the next night? I'm wondering that, because I'm wondering if it'd be a bad idea for me to end the day right now. Because at some point Pavel's gonna come back during the day and I can use his materials, or what? I don't know. I mean, I don't want to put meat into this thing if I can put fertilizer into it. Oh! It, he's back? Okay, yeah, so he does come back. Nice. Alright, and we didn't get raided during the night, so yeah, that went pretty well. Welcome back, Pavel. <clears throat> 
my story. It was tough, but women living on our street took great care to look beautiful. They were always clean and wore their best clothes. That was a sight, I tell ya. Lining up for water, they looked as if they were waiting to visit a theater. And my boy came up with another idea. My, my boy? What? My... huh? Oh, you have a son. I lived with my wife and son in the better part of the city. Ah... Okay. That makes more sense. Okay, tons of food. Unfortunately, Bruno is asleep. Katya is dreaming of hunks of meat, apparently. <laughs> Judging by the symbol here. Mmm, meat. Someone's at the door. Whoa! Did somebody just come in? What the fuck was that? Or was that Pavel? I think that might have been Pavel. Hold up. Let me see this thing with fertilizer. Okay, it's just Pavel. <laughs> I thought it was like armed robbers. Now it's just a traitor. Sitting on some cinder blocks. It's alright, you deserve a rest. Alright, I don't want to wake Katya up. In fact, hold on, do I actually have anything I want to trade? I'm going to use my fertilizer as bait, so that's a no. I could maybe trade some components for parts. That actually would be a good idea. Trading components for parts. What do I want to... Oh, maybe electric parts. I have a lot of those, actually. I actually don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what I want to make. I don't know what I want. I know I want more parts. So hold on, let me see what I can make. Oh, we can make a pistol. Hell yes. Katya up. I don't know how long he's gonna stay there. I just wanted to become tired instead of very tired. Come on. Oh, there we go. Just flipped over. Go! Run! Up from your nap to go trade, and then you can go back to sleep. And while you're doing that, you can go sleep. I haven't slept in some time. What do you mean you haven't slept in some? You just slept literally five seconds ago. Alright, now we have a gun. Unfortunately, only two bullets, but I'll take it. Man, it requires so many parts. Okay. Yeah, so this would allow us to make meds and cigarettes to trade with. It's a lot less expensive to make an herbal workshop compared to an herbal garden. In fact, I actually have the stuff to do this. If I got more wood, I'd have to make an exclusive wood run. Hold on, how many inventory spaces do I have? One, two, isn't it eight? No, tw twelve. Yeah, twelve spaces. So twelve times two is twenty-four. Which would give me enough to make this. So if I did an if I did a wood run with Pavel and just got wood, I could make an herbal garden. Although it says we can we can improve it to grow vegetables, so it won't actually make vegetables in its current state. I'd have to spend more to upgrade it. It'd probably be an upgrade thing similar to upgrading a workstation. So that's that's a long term kind of payoff thing. Hmm. Do I want to just make another trap? These traps are actually working really well. They're kind of slow, but I think if I had three, I might be, like, nearly self-sustainable in terms of food. I really want to make a garden, though. Hmm. I have a weapon. What do I need the most? What do I need the most? I have a weapon. I need food the most. 
What's the best way to get it? Focus on directly getting food or making goods that I can trade for food? I want to directly make it. So how do I want to do that? Do I want a trap or do I want to do an herbal garden? That's the question. Trap I can make right now, today. In fact, I think I can do both. Because a trap only takes up 10 components. So I'll still have enough components left to make a garden. It takes up some wood, but I'm going to get 24. So 13 minus the 5 wood of this is going to leave me with 8. 8 plus, what was it? 24? Yeah, 8 plus 24 is more than 30. Yeah, maybe I can do both. So let's... I feel like I'm making too many damn traps, though. Like, I'm focusing almost exclusively on traps and not on other stuff. I need more water, too. Alright, well... Let's see what's going on up here. Yeah, I think I want all your parts. So what was I willing to trade for that? Electric parts? Wow. Yeah, I'll gladly give you four of those. I'm probably going to regret that later. You got some more food? I don't think I need it, though. If anything, I might need some water. I think it's really, really cheap to get water, so let me see if he's willing to part with that cheaply. Like, how much black powder? Hmm, no, it's not worth it. Yeah. Alright, hold on. We actually do need more water to actually cook the food, so... I need sponges. Let's go make some sponges. Or filters. That's not it. I actually need a lot of water. In fact, I'm not really going to be able to cook today, because I just need more water. Quickly! Put the filter in! Yeah, five hours. Hmm. Shit. I think I might make a wood run and just make a garden. Let me see if I have enough stuff now to make... I... wait. I can't... why can't I make it? It says I have all the stuff. Am, am I limited to two traps? The fuck? I don't understand. Does it take too long to make? The night's gonna end before it's done? No. I don't get it. There's... I, I don't see any indication on why I can't make this. the station, which I haven't thought about doing for a while. It requires too much wood. It's like, I feel like if I haven't even mastered what we've currently made, there's no point in upgrading it. it requires a mixer, oh god. Yeah, that's a lot of components, jeez. Ah, what do I want to do? Make a wood run and make a garden? I think it's what I want to do. Or I can make a moon... I might be able to make a moonshine still and an herbal garden. Nah, let's hold off on that. I do... I need more water, though. So I almost want to make another rainwater collector just to get more water. Quicker. 
Should I do that? If I manage my rainwater well, do I even need a second one? How much water am I going to get out of this? Four? Four. So that will allow me to make two food. And I can do that like twice per day? Four food per day? That's... I think I can get by with one. Alright, I think I'm going to make nothing. Go get wood and then make an herbal garden. means I'm probably going to want to save our fertilizer. Yeah. Is there anything more I want, my friend? Get some vegetables. I'm not giving you ten gunpowder to make ten bullets for one, one little bit of vegetables. New... Nah, I'm good. You won't make it if your provisions run out. Provisions are not the problem. You know, if we get raided, I just realized we're fucked. If we get raided and they steal our food, like, we are seriously fucked. We need to protect our stuff. But you know what? That shouldn't be a problem, because we have a pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It won't be a problem. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All's good. You can go away, buddy. We good. Part of town is dangerous, but I'll try to come again. Okay, please do. Now let's end the day. Okay, nobody's very tired, nobody's very hungry, so no, we're actually okay. I think... I think I'm just gonna go back to the hotel. Yeah, just do the wood run. Alright, Pavel's going out. Amelia's slightly sick, so she definitely needs to sleep. Let's have everybody else guard. And they are going to have the gun. I'm not going to take it with me, so they can protect our extremely precious food. Because strangely enough, the food back at home is actually more important than Pavel's life. They actually need it more than Pavel does. I'm not actually going to be trading. Something trade, so I'll leave that. Yeah, don't need to take anything. Hello. There's a ton of wood somewhere. Where was it? I think it was somewhere up here on the left. There's a bunch. There's a bunch more somewhere. Gotta make sure that guy up here doesn't see me. Yep, here we go. Alright, that should be enough. What did I need? Uh, whatever I needed, this should be enough. Let's fill out the rest of our inventory with something. Yeah, there's a guy right there. So if there's bars here, then that means you can either go through the bars or go through him. Yeah, so he can steal. There's something good up here. Ooh, here we go. Okay, more wood, more components. I have a lot of components. I think I need more wood than anything, so let's dump that and just get more wood. Alright, there we go. Run to exit. It's a short day. Hope nothing horrible has happened back home. A lot of people are going to need to sleep. Okay, where were you raided? 
Oh god. If we've been raided and we had a gun, does that mean somebody died? We're armed, but they didn't do much harm. Thankfully, we were all armed. They used up two ammunition to chase them off. Okay, they didn't kill them. Thankfully. They still... <laughs> wow. So we shot at them. We had two people guarding, and one of them shot at them. The other one had a knife. And they still managed to steal a little bit of stuff and run off. Those... Wow. Tenacious bastards. We only lost one food, though, so that's not... Not a huge deal. It's not good. I mean, that you know, one food is worth a lot, but... They didn't steal all of it, so that's good. I think we're out of ammo, though. Which means that we really can't keep super valuable stuff here now. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so the next thing to do is make the garden. Or make the start of the garden, which I believe we can make right now, right? Whoops, no, no, no. Yeah, so now we actually have the stuff to make an herbal garden, which we can grow into a vegetable garden. So, excellent. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.